A Beach man accused of murdering his wife at their home faced a judge for the first time today, and we're hearing from the victim's grieving sister. Local Times' Todd Tongan is live with more on what happened in court. Todd. Lori, we're learning more about the gruesome details associated with this crime, and as you said, it did get emotional both inside and outside the courtroom. Sir, you're charged with one count of premeditated murder. 51-year-old Patrick Palmer is accused of killing his wife of 14 years. And this morning, a judge ordered him to be held without bond as his wife's sister looked on. She was my everything. She was my everything. And she's gone. Sherry Palmer's sister, along with other family members, were inside the courtroom, including the accused murderer's daughter. Your Honor, Mr. Palmer's daughter is present. She would uh, not like to appear at the podium, but she does want her father to know that she is here for support. Sherry Palmer owned Chit Chat's bar in Pompano Beach, and the couple ran it together. In fact, friends say they did nearly everything together, but employees got worried when the couple didn't show up for several days, so they called BSO to do a welfare check. The outpouring of love, I appreciate it so much, and I'm hurting for her friends and her Chit Chat family who loved her so much and I know they're hurting, and I want them to know my heart's with them. Police say when they went inside the couple's home, they found Patrick in a bedroom, passed out and bleeding from his arms. They also found his wife's body in the backyard, wrapped in tarps near a shallow grave. Sherry had been shot twice in the head. Palmer had been living with the body for days, so long she had to be identified through dental records. Friends and her last Facebook posts suggest there was a problem in her relationship, writing about choices, chances, and changes, and her profile picture simply reading, enough. When asked about her brother-in-law and the heinous crimes he's accused of, Sherry Palmer's sister said she had no comment. She simply was in the courtroom today to honor her sister. As far as Chit Chat's bar, the bar that Sherry owned, it's unclear what the fate of that bar is or its employees. At the jail in Fort Lauderdale, Todd Tong, and Local 10 News.